Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's explore and today we're going to explore our kitchen and we're going to make granola But how to make granola? So I'll teach you step by step about how and how to make Granolas first we need some ingredients like this We need some oats Actually, we need four cups of oats and we need two cups of almond nuts so what I did is since this one is big I cut it into four pieces you can chop it like this and then two cups of this and we need some walnuts so our walnuts is also big like this so I have to chop it into smaller pieces like this this is the walnut I cut it into smaller pieces so from this big so this is the bigger walnut so I cut it like this I think you can cut it six six pieces in one big walnut we also need one half cup of sunflower seeds we need one half cup of pumpkin seeds this so so guys in this big bowl I already combine the oats walnuts almond nuts pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and mix it together you can use it with your hands just wash your hands and then mix this one or you can use a wooden spoon or wooden ladle to mix this one then you have to set this aside we also need guys one cup of cranberries but we need this later when uh, everything is done when it's already cooked before we mix this one so next that we are going to prepare is our syrup so for this we need coconut oil eight tablespoons of coconut oil we need eight tablespoons of maple syrup eight tablespoons of almond butter four teaspoons of vanilla we need two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and two teaspoons of ground nutmeg then we need one half teaspoon of salt or sea salt or for me I'm using now the Himalayan salt or whatever salt you have one half teaspoon of it then we combine this all ingredients that we need for our syrup in the pot or pan so the next thing that we're going to do now is to measure eight tablespoons of coconut oil one two three four five six seven eight next we add the eight tablespoons of maple syrup one two three four five six seven and eight then we add four teaspoons of vanilla So now let's put the two teaspoons of ground cinnamon and two teaspoons of ground nutmeg. Then we add one half teaspoon of salt. Now we will add eight tablespoons of almond butter. This one. One. Two, 
to Last one, eight. Then you have to mix this one and make sure before preparing your syrup, you have to preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius so that it is ready when the syrup is ready. You have to mix this, pour this over in the bowl where you have your nuts and oats. So I already preheat my oven to 150 degrees. Now let's heat it up and stir it to melt it and keep stirring until it is well blended. So you need to keep on stirring this until the butter or the almond butter will melt and it will combine with the oil and the maple syrup. Keep stirring. So your heat or the fire should not be so high. You can actually melt this one for just two minutes. So this is done. So you're going to pour this inside the bowl where we have our nuts and the oats. So you, we will use the rubber scraper to scrape the rest of the ingredients, the, re the rest of the syrup that's in the side. And then mix this all together. Keep mixing until every single nut is coated. With the syrup. So this is done. If we see, if we look at it, each um, single nut or each single nut is coated with syrup already. So it's done already. So we have to bake this one now. So now we have our baking pan. So we will cover our baking baking pan or line our baking pan with our cooking paper so I use this so here I put the other half of our granola mixture in the other baking pan so it's ready to be baked after we finish baking the other one the first one so we will bake this one also so this food is very nutritious and it is good or perfect for breakfast or for snacks so hope you will try to make this one for your kids or for your family So here's our granola after 15 minutes so you have to turn it over So we put it back in the oven and bake it for another 15 minutes and then it's done. So guys, the first batch is already done, it's already cooked. So we will bake another one, the second one. And we will do the same thing. For 15 minutes, we have to turn it over and bake it for another 15 minutes. Now let's put our baked granola in the mixing bowl. Then let's put one cup of cranberries. Then mix it. When the other one is also 
done, you have to mix it this way. That's why it's here also. So, here's our second batch of granola. It's done. It's already cooked. So, we'll put it together. And then, mix it. so that the cranberries will be blended together with the granola. So here's our granola. It's already done. It's blended together. So you have to cool it down, leave it there until it's cool, and then transfer it in a jar. And you have granola for breakfast now and for snacks. And I hope you enjoy watching my video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and then give your comment below. So here's our granola, our yummy granola, topped with yogurt, and then it's ready to eat for a snack or for breakfast. And it's so delicious. And, oh, and thank you so much for watching. And have a lovely day. Bye-bye.